All right. Yay. It's time to do Go Talk. Yay. If you've never heard of this, that's because this is the first episode. Um, my name's Kevin, uh, and I'll be the host. And today, uh, Hi, Kevin. Is the wonderful Andrew Jackson. Uh, we're just going to do a little post Congress, post mortem, talk about things that happened, and also play a game, which is what you're going to see to the. Uh, I think that's the left of me. No, that this way it's the left of me. And we're just gonna have a good time. So, how are you doing, Andrew? Doing good. Doing good. Long day. Uh, we've made it. It's the end of the Go Congress. It's actually what two or three that's weeks. That's right. Ago. That's right. It's been what uh, two weeks now. I'm almost all recovered from. <laughs> Dude, uh, my first week was a ton of recovery. Oh, I, did you get sick too? No, it wasn't so much that. It's just I'm always extremely tired after a Go Congress. Sure, and sure. We run the urge to too. play Go is very low. <laughs> I, I actually that. didn't play at my um, Go club after I got back. You were just like, I, d I have done this enough. <laughs> yes, I did this for you know however many straight days. Right, but, right. Uh, I assume the same was for you. You did. You were really busy this Go Congress. Uh, yeah, it was it was one of the busier Go Congresses. I think it was comparable to um, the Santa Barbara one, which. Yeah, right. I was, I was easily comparably busy. I think <laughs> that the the difference was that I hadn't been working for a whole year in advance, only a few months. So yeah. yeah. But no, I mean a lot of the stuff that you created this year was really cool. Uh let me see. Uh do you remember some of the stuff you created? Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, I, I think it was a, a pretty pretty good success. I was really I, I think, you know, this isn't this isn't the first time that the AJs tried to do streaming at a Go Congress, but it, it is the the one that was, I think, the most successful. I know they tried doing it in the uh, North Carolina Congress. Did they? Oh, Is I that the one you meant to play? Is that really where we're, where we're going with this? Uh, you know, we're gonna find out. Did you? Uh, no, no, it's fine. I mean, if it's just <laughs> like you know, we're we're talking and playing, so it's fine. I'm still playing with the intent to win. Okay. <laughs> Noted. But uh, yeah. I, so let's see. So some of the stuff you've done. Uh, you did the you did an active commentary, like some of the. That's right. the commentary. That's uh, right. who'd, you, who'd you do that? You did that with Hajin or a lot of different. I did that with Hajin. I also did that with uh, with Jenny Shen, which was oh cool, cool. Yeah, so, yeah. I uh, it was it was really funny. I was expecting that there would be multiple um, multiple uh, pros who were interested in doing that go commentary. Mm -hmm. So because we had so many pros, I expected that it would be that the pros would want to do commentary with other pros. Mm -hmm. But pretty universally, they seem to want to do commentary with amateurs. You're gonna get a nice echo on these stones here, by the way. That, yeah. It, it be fun. Um, I can, let me. I can turn off the sound effects on mine here. It's up to you. I have headphones on. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, that was really cool. Uh, so, who who all did it? Hajin did it. I think. So Jenny did it. Were those uh -huh. basically, uh -huh. basically the pros, or did uh, those were the ones that I worked with? But also uh, Cho Yeon and Myungwon Kim and uh, Ming Ming, uh, Stephanie Yin. Uh, oh, also cool. helped out. So uh, having Cho Yeon and Kim Myungwon uh, help, I, I think I worked with them on the last game. Although honestly, by that point, it was all it's all kind of a blur. <laughs> um, Your voice was very very dead on the last. Oh game. man, I was, yeah, was very impressed. That was rough. Oh, you're. Um, Settling this early on. Well, it seems like the shape up here is. Yeah, it's. It seems like this is not a bad idea. I. I will not disagree with you. Um, Let's not show this one to Jenny, okay? Uh, actually, we are. <laughs> oh, we are. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, like I said. I think. Spoiler alert for people who haven't gotten to the end of this. I think what we're gonna do after this is. Um, I will take this to my teacher and get it reviewed and we'll probably do a post-mortem of this game as, as an extra little feature. We can probably talk about it after the game's over. Okay. okay. But um, it'll be just a little nice side thing for people who've been watching this and maybe wondering what was going on. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Makes a certain amount of sense. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be great. So I want to talk, what I really want to talk about, Yeah. You know, one of the amusing things that I want to talk about was um, you were doing the commentary for when... Tong Yulin did his famous blunder, right? Yes. yes what was the uh, general feeling <laughs> when you saw that happen? Well, uh, I definitely, uh, I think I think Hajin was a little shocked. I think she was very surprised because we were uh, we were convinced that it was going to be very difficult. Although, 
as we explored it further, I think she realized that um, once he had made the, uh, the different choice in how the capturing race in the lower left went, he mm -hmm. had uh, Ko Aji. Right. Um, and, and he so he made that choice to keep there from being as many Ko threats. So oh, then wow. when Mark created another Ko in the upper right, Mm -hmm. It was actually not as terrible for Mark as it seemed. Oh, now, so you could almost see things like right, like in once, that direction. Like once he, well, I think that we hadn't, I don't know if we had realized the extent to which that that was still not necessarily going to be bad for for Mark. Um, mm -hmm. No question, I mean, he, he had not been in a commanding position the whole time, but Mm -hmm. the the way to which they were to they accurately left that capturing race in the lower left right was just it was so impressive i was i was really impressed with with how that game went down um, did you get to learn a lot from uh just doing a lot of side commentary uh you know honestly i don't think that much of it stuck <laughs> like, no 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 i completely agree because i was doing a lot of uh yeah you know, yeah you know translation. How it is, right you do you do interpreting for the pros right Kevin? yeah and like after afterwards <laughs> people are like oh man did you remember the lesson it was so good it's like, and you're oh. like no i was really focusing on like translating and asking <laughs> questions and like yeah <laughs> and so none I, of it sticks i definitely felt like that was the case that i had i had been trying to do a very good job of um i'm trying to decide how to answer your your pro oh, no no go yeah, yeah. Let's We're doing two things at once. I am. Um, yeah, but no, yeah, I, I have that. I'll, I'll talk a little while you're doing this. But yeah, I I felt the same way. Um, like when, when you do these things, you just try and talk and you do the best you can. And then afterwards, people are like, what, do you remember anything? No, it was a blur. Yeah, <laughs> was yeah, blur. absolutely. Absolutely. And um, yeah. that, that game also was very interesting because of... Um, so the other really strong Chinese players, which, by the way, I didn't know they all came from a, uh, the same college. Oh, really? Yeah, Wang Chen, uh, there's a Sui Zhongxiang, Sui oh. Zhongxiang, and uh, also, and some other people, but also Tong Yuling. Uh -huh. They were all part of a, uh, the Shanghai Business uh, College. Oh, right on. And so that's actually why they all came together. That's how they all, you know, I guess, maybe know each other as well. And okay. so uh, the funny thing was, I saw that game, and to me, when I stare at Go, even when it typically, when even when it's a strong player's game, it's just black and white stones. I don't really want to spend the time really thinking about it. Right. And I'm, I'm just looking at it and say, like, yeah, it's a game. Right. It's great. <laughs> but uh, it was great because I walked out, and Wang Chen and uh, his other friend, Sui Zhexiang, were just sitting there saying, yeah, Tony Rilo. Tony Ling won. You know, it's it's a done deal. It's over. It's they, it's, they thought it was a done thing. It, it was over. And so I walked back in, and I guess I had the great timing of between the two things. Sure. And, I, you know, someone's just said, and Tony Ling's making sounds of exasperation, which I'm wondering if they ever came through on the uh, live stream feed. Uh, no, you know, on the live stream feed, it just looked like he, he got up and, and left. Uh, oh, okay. Left the board. Like that was. But, uh, yeah. Definitely after that, he was making heavy sounds of exasperation. Which and, I think uh, is, is understandable. I think he was, yeah, he, he was pretty... He was not feeling well for the rest of the day, I think. But I, I do think it was um, that, that you know, after that initial capturing race went bad, Mark Lee definitely couldn't resign. Like, it was not a resignable yeah. position at all. And his mm -hmm. job was to find a way to use that Aji, right? And mm -hmm. he did, right? And, and he yeah. was able to come through and do that without... I, 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 like I said, I was really impressed the way to which he was able to use the the fine shadings of those different um, capturing races to 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 make things go the way he wanted to. What are we doing here, Kevin? What's the plan? I don't know. I was really afraid of the outside becoming some sort of influence. I thought you oh. were going to do a different Gosecki, but this makes sense given the lower left. Mm hmm mm hmm The lower left did seem like the interesting side. Yeah. But this choice is interesting. There'll be fighting, which I think you love to do. <laughs> I would say I love to do it. I would say that uh, this is one of the first games I've played since I got back, though. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, um, so we got back, and I guess it's been two weeks, because each weekend at the Go Center, there's been a new, um, there's been a workshop. 
Mm -hmm. So there was um, Kim Young Wan did a workshop, right? And then last week, uh, in last weekend, In Song did a workshop, and right. those were great. And I, I went to both of them because I was like, well, you know, I missed both. Mm. Uh, I missed pretty much the whole Congress, so I'm gonna, you know, take the opportunity to uh, to do some kind of go here to make it up. <laughs> Hey, we are still very grateful that you did that. Ah, um, no, it's fine. I think, I think it's it, we we did a for the first year we did it. I think it turned out better than expected, and I think that we've shown that it can be done. So I think that it's gonna. I think next year it'll be folded into the e-journal coverage. And, um, okay. and so this was just sort of trailblazing, and I think that we're gonna you know polish and refine it, and uh, other people will do the polishing and refining, <laughs> which I'm pretty excited about. <laughs> yes. No, no, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can next year. It, it's very dependent on who shows up, but next year it'll be really interesting if I can do the uh, interview series again. Sure, I think that's a great idea. What did you think of that, by the, the way? The interview series? I thought they were great. I was very glad to see the interview series. This is an interesting shape you've made here. I, yeah, I was, was thinking about the extension first, but I don't know uh, what to think about. Some speed? I don't know. But, um, uh, did you get to learn a lot from it? I I still think a lot about that interview. Which one? Which both of them? You did mean, too. They were both really like, I. Little bit of disclosure beforehand. I actually did not really know any of them going in, but oh, I yeah? have a problem about not knowing anything about the Go world. So um, I'm. Yeah. That's just. That makes you uniquely qualified to interview them, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, so get to ask. That, that I really have to learn more about while I'm talking. About them. Sure. But, uh, definitely, I learned a lot. Um, but I, I'm curious, you know, because you were uh, moderating moderating the first one with Wang Chen. Like, mm -hmm. is there anything that you know when we were talking about you thought were was particularly interesting? Um, you know, I I thought that the again, like most of everything else, that was, it's all kind of a blur to me. The Wang mm -hmm. Chen, I liked his conversation, like how he has managed to make a job out of it. Yes, yes. I, I thought that was pretty great. Yeah, my teacher told me like, like now amateurs are also able to you know play tournaments and make a living with it. And make a living. That's right. How am I? I I'm still trying to figure out what's going on in this game. No, no, no that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I that was the first thing going into it that uh, my teacher was talking to me about. Um, she was basically saying, you know, now amateurs can be on the same level as pros. And I was oh. like, really? And so that was one big thing, but also the eventual thing of uh, finding out that he had the chance to become pro and he chose not to. Chose not to, which I think actually from the description of, you know, there's 20 annual tournaments, you know, as, as long as he does reasonably in enough of them. Will that do enough for me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, like just because he, uh, but I think... The, him becoming uh, choosing not to become pro, I learned that at the Go Congress. I actually didn't know that uh, beforehand. Mm -hmm. but, uh, just the fact that an amateur, like an amateurs, can sort of function and like play and make a living out of it was news to me. I mean, right. uh, maybe just because the state of Go in America, or just you know how we all think of things. We think, oh, if you want to make money, make money. Uh, Playing um, or just doing go, you have to become a professional. And he he showed a really interesting way of like you know you don't at least he's been able to uh, not do it. All right, I'm gonna make a bad move here. I just want you to be prepared. It yeah, we'll see it in the review. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a bad move. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All right. Well, hang on. Let me think for just. A <laughs> but, I'll, you know. But I actually, already, come, go ahead. I'm kind of curious about how this is gonna go down. Okay. But uh, talking with him uh, and just hearing his perspectives on, you know, wanting to become a pro and then also turning that down afterwards, I thought that was really cool. Yeah, um, really interesting stuff. You would have thought if it's something that he tried so hard for and and by his own admission, he's failed six times. But when, I can kind of understand it, too, because I feel like at some point you've resigned yourself like you you've put that dream behind you. Right. That is true, and he did say that. Right, right, and that that I can I can really identify with that. I think that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, definitely. So and it was, uh, and the funnier thing was, uh, it got cut off uh, for who knows why, 
Because yeah, you know, uh, I filed a bug with uh, YouTube about it. Yeah, I'm sure Google's working on that. Time, but it's gone, so. It's fine. Um, but the interesting thing, uh, so I think one of the final questions was, uh, you know, what's one of the more memorable uh, games or funnier things that has happened right. to you? And he said, um, he, uh, the fact that he was once in a tournament and they said, hey, uh, no, once he was in a pro exam when he was still trying to become a pro. Right. And they said, hey, you know, the top 12 are going to become pro. Right. And he ends up in 13th place. He ends up in 13th place. That's right. <laughs> 13th place. And I was like, well, this, is, this doesn't sound very funny. And he's like, I'm not done yet. It's like, all right. And okay. he said, later on, he says, um, I was playing. Um, so this is my bad move, by the way. I see. I, I understand why it looks like it's making a uh, broken shape, sort of pushing through an elephant's eye or whatever. I still don't know what it's called. Um, but he said, "Hey, you know." Well, I don't um, actually want to attack this group here. So you don't? I don't. I don't think there's anything for me really to gain by attacking this group. Okay. So, <laughs> you know. so. I, I won't argue with your uh, with your assessment. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so you're saying so first he finishes 13th in something where the best of tw where the top 12 qualify, right? Right. And then he and finishes he, in what fifth or something for some No, it was actually what like it was right. a tournament after he's quote unquote given up on becoming pro. Right. But they said, hey, look, if you score in the top three, we'll let you become a pro. That was it. That was it. And he scored fourth. He scored fourth. Ah. <laughs> And I, I still looked at him like, I don't see how this is funny at this all. Sounds <laughs> it sounds terrible. It sounds terrible. and sad. Yeah, and he's just like, no, 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 you don't understand. Like, I just think it's amusing how every time when it's supposed to be, you know, like I have this opportunity to become pro. I'm just going to get connected. Um, I have this opportunity to become pro. You know, I'm just one place away. Right. And I really wish I was, you know, I was having, I was pretty busy. And, but the whole idea of him saying that, I just looked at him and I could just imagine my face look like, well, if you think that's funny, I can't argue with I you. I guess I should start laughing, right? I guess I should start laughing. Yeah, yeah. exactly that. Because he just said, he was just like, well, that's, that's just, I guess, fate in a certain way. So I was like, well, if that's, <laughs> If that's your uh, if funny that's story, the way for you me, feel. then that's the way you feel. Oh, um, oh goodness! I'm gonna see if I have to worry about you being able to come. This is a thing, right? I can do this thing. I I will not argue with the fact that this is a thing. Um, be a little bit more. I remember this being a thing that I could do against this particular formation. Oh man, no, but you know, honestly, I so Congress did. I did come back with a lot of. Uh, ideas for what to do about class and you know yeah all definitely stuff. they had a uh, they had teaching teaching things right what, what are they called teaching, what? teaching workshops that's what they're called oh like, yeah and, I, not that I got to go to those but um, which was uh, that's a very interesting thing that Congress offered that started what a year or two ago or did that start at Santa Barbara uh, I think it started in Seattle. In Seattle? Oh, it took Seattle to come? Comic Con was the one. Is uh, your internet all right? <laughs> yeah, are things slowing down? Uh, you, you slow down for a little bit. You're back now. That's really weird. I don't know any people. <laughs> but yeah, that's a, it's a really interesting thing that Congress offers. I've yet to be able to take advantage of that, but I'd love to do way for me to live here I don't know <laughs> um, but I think that's a really interesting uh, thing that Congress offers now um, yeah yeah that's Chris uh, in Seattle Tacoma and um, I haven't been able to go to too many of you're breaking got... right hello still yeah you're back. Uh, uh, you're still a little bit iffy. Uh, we'll make do. And a little bit iffy, Kevin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sing us a song. We'll see. We'll, we'll use that to test it. 
but uh, no, yeah, I, 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 I think it's a really cool thing. Um, definitely, it provides a lot of really interesting ways to spread Go because otherwise, you know, it's 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 a good way to you know promote a. Uh, let's see, I'm do this. It's a good way to promote like people to uh, be a little bit more open to teaching at their clubs. Sure, um, sure, absolutely. And anything that helps every club out there is, you know, really good. That's actually uh, just to backpedal. I mean, the Wang Chen thing, the other thing that he said that I thought was really cool, he, he uh, provided that small bit of advice. He said, oh, Chen um, Wang? Oh, Wang Chen, yeah. Wang Chen. Which is his? Uh, basically, it's uh, his family name, name is Wang. Okay, his family name is Wang. Yeah. Um, but yeah. His, hmm? You know, family name and given name so often in so many different uh, ways. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a unique property of so, uh, Asian. Syllables, if there's two syllables, but ah, with Wang Chen, I can't do that. So yeah, but uh, no, he uh, his advice was basically you know just to to after every game that you play to review it and then on your own, and the. I guess the poetic thing that he said about that was basically, you know, if you can find issues right. with your game. You have to actually find that, something, right. Right. But if you find something, it means you have room to improve. It's like, because sure. you're, you're able to see, you know, what you need to do better, which I think is a really cool thing to say. I feel like that's one um, of the things I, I try to, to get across at the single digit is being able to generate questions. like. Like so many yes. times when people bring in a game to review, they have no question. They, here's a game, please review it. Yeah. They're like, well, yeah. what, you know, I'm like, what do you want me to tell you? Like, <laughs> question, like, I got enough in this sequence, or I was really looking for the right move to attack, or like, you know, if you can come mm -hmm. up with a question, like, I think I played this Joseki wrong, even, is like a, a better question than just, you know, sort of throwing the game over and seeing what happens. Yeah, I, I have that same problem too when learning um, because sometimes, like, and I see this a lot when I do translation for uh, a lot of the game reviews is, um, right. what you think is the worst thing isn't the worst <laughs> thing or isn't, right. e isn't even a problem at all. And so sometimes I just have to sit there and say, well, I'll just have to wait for the teacher to, you know, point this out right, as to right. what I did wrong. But it, it is an interesting way, and I I have this where I when I play I critically think of like, okay, this situation that I'm in, what brought this about, and what can I do to, you know, and go really for that, right? Better. Because sometimes the punishment is a very long way away from the from the crime. Yes. Yeah, my teachers once said, you know, sometimes like the situation you're in was because of decision a long like time 10, ago. 10, 15 moves ago, but you think, oh, I'm in this bad situation because of this one move. Right. And so it it is an interesting thing. Um, definitely, his the next thing he said after that was that if there's something that you don't that you don't understand, that's when you bring it to the team. Exactly. Exactly. So coming up with questions, reviewing and finding your own mistakes, and then you mm -hmm. know, like anyway, it's such such important process. Yeah, process, process, I'm, process. Where do I go here? This is such a peaceful looking game, Kevin. I'm confused. It is, yeah. but it has potential. Um, I, there's some moves I want to try out. Yeah, do you? Well, I should find out what they are and not let you play them. What do you think about that? Yeah, I, uh, I agree. <laughs> but yeah, so far it's been pretty peaceful. Yeah, strange. Very strange. <laughs> It is interesting how, uh, you know, Go doesn't, you, I remember, I still remember when I was, you know, was, but a wee, you know, 10. Ah, when I was 10Q. young, 10Q. Yes, when I was a wee on 10Q. <laughs> and I just, everyone played Starpoint and all the games looked similar. And you would think, surely, surely one of these games will look like, will resemble, like, be exactly like the older games. Right. But they never, ever end up being the same. No. Nope. <laughs> It's a really interesting thing. I mean, uh, the more I've read about, about chess at a very high level and ends up being like memorizing other people's games sure. and like sometimes 
games might be exactly on book where for it, your a long is on time, else. right? They're on book for a long, right. long time. But like Go, you it can easily change so quickly. Uh -huh. so that's it's such an interesting part of Go. Is that so. That's so. Hey, you know, I turned off my so sound. If you turned off your sound too, then you're getting neither click. Are you hearing my clicks as well? No, I'm not hearing your clicks. Okay. I'm, it's probably because I have. Oh, you have your headphones in. Right. Good thinking. Clever guy. And that's why I'm three dot. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Um, let me think about this. Yeah, I don't know what you do about it. Take your time. Yeah, but let's see. But next year, next year, Go Congress is in Boston. Austin. Be a That's right. really good, interesting choice. Yeah, you're excited get about it. Good, uh, get some good chowder and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get some good lobster. Hey, you know, I'm really not sure. I like the. Speaking of, you know, reviewing our games, I'm already not happy with the shape I made in the upper right. Like, I think if, if I was just gonna Hane and connect, I think P14 is too close, right? Yes, but uh, we originally treated. You, we treated this as a pincer doseki, and then you decided to do the counter. counter yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Either way, I don't know if I'm, I'm happy with how that went down. I'm, I'm very curious. I don't think I've, I've, uh, of the the pinchers, I've almost never seen the two face mm. low pincher to the high approach. That's a very rarely seen one. I think. Uh, you know, I've it, gotten so much guff for that before in my life. What, the, uh, the two face pincher. Said, yeah, someone once said that's not a pincer. I was like, okay, <laughs> I I've given right? up on it's, really it's not, trying to. It's not as severe, right? You're not threatening. Anybody. Yeah. I, I yeah, and I should have just I, it, maybe. Maybe, I've gotten a lot of interesting stuff because, and it's it's one of the interesting things with when I uh, progressed and go is that basically I was just like, you know what, I I don't emphasize really figuring out just like as much as I used to. <laughs> And I mean, for for whatever reasons, I mean, um, I think a lot of energy is spent on the opening, and I think depending on uh, your teacher, actually, a lot of teachers say this now. Um, it's more more energy should be spent on the middle game with killing and understanding. Sure, shape. totally. I I don't know that many teachers that focus on the opening. Honestly, I think the the students all want to focus on the opening. Yeah, because it, it's the one that people feel like if they see this, they're more able to uh, apply it. Right. But right. the interesting right. thing is, yeah, it's <laughs> it's such a small fragment of the game. Yeah, you know, and that's funny. Uh, the Insong and the Myungwon lectures, both of them emphasize that reading is the most important skill and that yes. reading is the most important thing that you should can work on is to, you know, do problems, develop your reading, Far mm -hmm. and away the most important thing to do. So it's it's very funny that, you know, the students are always really concerned about middle game and Fuseki and fighting and stuff like that. Have you ever tried to think about why that is? Oh, I think it's because it's it the strategy and tactics is fun to think and reason about in a way that doing lots of problems isn't <laughs> yes. fun. You know, like like if once you've learned these ideas of like leaning attacks and splitting attacks and all that other stuff, it, it, it you know that's exciting. Right. I think that the you know grind on problems is not appealing. Right. There, there is that. I think that there's an interesting divide. I would say between how a lot of um, people, maybe with an Asian background in China, learn compared to that's how right. people in America learn. That's right. That's right. Like I it, like the boarding school uh, to do it. Well, yeah, and it's like some of them say, you know, because I once went to a school and they said, you know, what we do is we send the kids out and we just let them play each other all day long and, you know, they kill each other for days upon end. And then eventually, then we stop and we say, okay, now you're going to learn tactics and stuff. And That's right. Because they're so used to killing. Like they have all the shape, and now they know how to properly use the shape. And that that shape instinct that you've built up is is a useful thing to sort of think about. Right. Yeah. And the interesting thing is, yeah, the uh, Americans when we start out, uh, we don't get that chance. So we start and say, okay, well, we're gonna. What's the what, what? What do all the books usually talk about? There's some life and death books, but you know, there's there's attack and defense, and 
all these like opening in the beginnings and stuff like that. Sure, sure, sure. It's an interesting uh, divide. Man, this, remember, is a, this is a strange position, Kevin. I think it's if I can live here, maybe I'm okay. <laughs> but if I die here, <laughs> it's game over. Oh man. <laughs> Well, that's that's uh, it's a little early for an all in, I think. But as you know, if you like you like being all in, can't can't stop you. Yeah, there's an interesting. Uh, sometimes, yeah, my teacher is like, you gotta you gotta attack. It's like really, it seems like really drastic. It's like you don't have a choice anymore. You don't have it. <laughs> you, this is this is your life now. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> for sure. Um. Huh. But actually, the in other interesting thing with the interviews I did between Tong Yulin and uh, Wang Chen was sort of this interesting idea um, for them once they become pro or once they want to try to become pro, Go becomes sort of boring for them. Right, you know? right. It becomes this, you know, the, the modern pro system when you make it your life is win by half a point. Right. It becomes or just very. Win. <laughs> right, just win, right? Don't have fun. Don't play the move that looks more exciting to you. Take the certain course at all times. You know, I think there's a, a really conservative approach in modern Go mm -hmm. um, that they are very, very risk averse and very, very. Um, I mean, it, it, there's always games where you can push them to being risk maximal, but like, I think that there's, you know, the the Fuseki experimentation, you know, where they, yes. if they think they've got this slight edge, it's the only Fuseki you see. Like nobody want, like that <laughs> yeah. black hole opening is awesome because there's this pro trying something new, like right. very deliberately new. Like I think that, you know, because because I I've done enough of the Fuseki study to know, like when you're studying like the mini Chinese or something, like like there are these small variations in new ideas that they have, right? Like mm -hmm. uh, we went from mini to micro and the Chinese turned into the Chinese that you play on the side, right? Where you approach the four, four, their four, four, and then it draw back. Right. Mm -hmm. And like, these are kind of developments, but they're all kind of just variations on the same thing. Right. Like nobody's really trying on thing, anything right. new. The idea is still, you know, dictate the pace of the game from the opening in a really uh, deliberate way. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's interesting. I, it, I will say um, it clued me into something. Well, a lot of pros will say this, uh -huh. and um, this is actually the first Go Congress for whatever reason that I started to understand it. They sort of said, you know, play Happy Go. I was like, what does that mean? Happy Go? Yeah, I was like, Happy Go. What, what, what do you mean happy by go? Happy Go? And he's just like, just have a good time playing Go. You're not. This isn't like, this isn't your livelihood. It like, you you don't need to like your rank doesn't, you know depend on you winning or losing just you know just have a good time playing it and this well, was actually know, one of go ahead you said on winning or losing that hmm. you're breaking in or not i seem to have some oh. that is using my network wow really i did you mean to do that yes Hey, I'm so afraid of my group dying. <laughs> wow. Okay. I do realize it gives you a very good chance of getting a community, so I don't know how to feel about that. Huh. Yeah, this is interesting. I was not expecting that that response at all. <laughs> Nobody expects. <that. laughs> Nobody expects Kevin's inquisition. Yes. That's what we're doing here. But no, yeah, with the happy happy go idea, definitely. Um, this this Congress was like the first time I sort of understood where they were getting at. Just you know, playing and just having a good time playing um, without really, like, of course everybody wants to win and you want to be serious about it. But yeah, like from an amateur perspective, especially like from you know from not a that level. Sure. It's still just a fun game, and that, sure. this was actually the first time I actually really started to begin to understand that. Yeah, you know, I think I think some people forget that whole like go is fun thing. Mm -hmm. like, that's the whole point of the Frank series was have fun, have fun playing go. It's a game. 
<laughs> there's this great little thread people are like you know what's the right handicap to use and the, it's like the right handicap is the one where you guys enjoy the game right wild idea i know so let's talk about this uh frank series that you have going oh so, yeah uh I'll, I'll, first of all was like the genesis of it uh mostly it was getting ready for go congress like the whole purpose of that was to get ready to do the congress streams mm -hmm. uh, by uh you know testing the equipment uh testing the um i'm, I'm sorry i'm trying to figure out what i want to do with your group here in the middle yeah i'm a little worried <laughs> tough question <laughs> Yeah. At the same time, you know, it's, it's not like it's in bad shape. It is in, what is it they say? It's 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 like uh, it's like trying to go to the gym. It's not about how heavy you are. It's about the shape you're in. Yeah, sure. I won't argue with that. So are you going to actually do more of those, or was that just a uh, one-off? I don't know. I am shipping the cameras off to um, – off to – Portland, where an organizer for the Boston, the Chang Chi Cup, that's coming yes. up in Boston. Yes. Yeah, they're going to be that, playing the broadcast. We, we, that. We, we need to we need to talk about that. In yeah, second. we do need to talk about that. So they're going to be doing this broadcasting on the Chang Chi Cup, and so I'm going to send all the cam cameras and equipment that way. Is, um, mm -hmm. still going to have this. Do it. Wait, are you attending that, or are you just? Yeah, uh, I'm going to be flying over to Boston to. As well you just you know, you're gonna go there just to uh play or just to uh, help uh out with the stream? it's sort of a meeting i'm sort of also consulting on the broadcasting i i'm excited to go i think it's gonna be a good time i yeah this is uh they so the chum chi cup for anyone who doesn't know and also me who really doesn't know uh it's what one of the bigger things in uh Chinese go. China? Yeah, yeah. This is a major Chinese tournament, and they're holding their semifinal event here in uh, in the U.S., uh, which is pretty cool. I don't Say that so, again? They're just holding a Chinese tournament, uh, and they are... <laughs> I apologize to all those who are watching who have no idea what Andrew's saying. I have no idea either. All right, you're back. Uh, you having internet trouble? I'm not seeing. I have wonderful internet, sir. I don't know what you're talking. About. I also have wonderful internet, so. But uh, we can agree to disagree. Yes, uh, Changchi Cup, big old tournament, um, and they're gonna what like fly. People from China over to play here? And not just people from China. You know, uh, I think four of the top ten uh, Chinese players will be there. So, like Gu Li is going to be there. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, not Xie He, but uh, Ke Jie. Ke Jie is going to be there. Um, it, it's a it's a pretty action packed lineup, and I think that actually. So I think Wei Chi uh, Wei Chi TV. Is going to be mm -hmm. filming that event, doing the broadcasting oh, wow. on the um, on the Westerner slash amateur tournament instead. So that's sort of how that plan is going. Wait, so two tournaments are going two to be tournaments? Going There's going to be an actual Chinese tournament, like the semifinals of the Changchi Cup, which is one of the like majors in China. Right. They're holding the semifinals here. Then they're going to play the finals somewhere else. And oh wow! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. So like, there's a like four of the top ten active professional Chinese players are going to be in the United States playing each other. It's going to be probably some of the best go uh, that we've seen. Um, you know, state so. Yeah. Until Lisa at all decides to move to America, this is probably, you know. I don't, I don't know what to do with these points in the middle now here, Kevin. So that's the other thing. Like, this is... <laughs> I mean, I had to sacrifice the points at the bottom just so I could maybe help out my middle group and also maybe ruin some points in the center. Which you are doing? Which you are doing? Yes, which I'm doing. But I'm, I'm so, just going to... Oh, maybe I'll have to see if I can go to that. Um, yeah, yeah. It's going to be exciting. You're in South Carolina, right? No, I am in uh, Dallas, Texas. Oh, you're in Dallas. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I actually don't think I'm doing very well territory-wise, but I'm not a big counter. 
<laughs> that was that was the other great. Uh, what was the the comment from one of the commentary sessions uh, at the Congress was, "How did I get good at counting?" It was one of the questions, and they said, "You count a lot." <laughs> Really? Yeah, That's like great. they said, how do I get better at counting? And they say you count a lot. Like, like this counting is something that they do really often. And, Duh. <laughs> and, and and so I thought that was a real great like. But of course, moment. Right. you know, do the work. Where's what are those gifts of that guy on the internet where he's like, just do it. <laughs> oh, Shalabuf. Is it Shalabuf? Yeah, it's Shalabuf. It's that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So, but yeah, G Cup, man, that'll be uh, it's I'll think I think it's end of September. It's coming up soon. Yeah, it's, it's, it's... Soon. I need to buy an airplane ticket. That's that's <laughs> yikes. So, goodness, I you know, this quest for eyes is going to be quite painful. That is my fondest hope. Yes, I think this game will end a lot sooner than I than later. Yeah, what happened? I mean, even if you live, I think I got points on you. Yeah, I think uh, my choice, I thought my M14 move might, I thought it was a form of Sente. Right. But um, you didn't care, and it wasn't as, and I realized later that even if I descended at M18, you can still maintain a connection just by letting me connect back. So that didn't feel too good. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, 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 that's interesting. So... Yeah. But I do now realize that my upper left group, if I ignore, you can kill it with a G17 move, which isn't too good for isn't me. That disgusting. This is one of the reasons. So uh, actually, this also came up in the Myungwon lecture. Is oh that yeah. This this that Joseki in the upper left. Mm -hmm. You almost never see it. It's almost never the right choice. Really. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not something that's done well. And one of the reasons that Myungwon said is because you have this Aji of the uh, peep attach. Like that yeah. Aji is so nice later mm -hmm. that um, that people just don't usually play that Joseki anymore. That's that's an interesting thing. Um, that even I've after you've once... taken that stone and you've got that yeah. Anuki, you're still not absolutely alive, right? It's <laughs> it's uh, it's very vexing right now, especially because yeah. I'm about to die. <laughs> um, I don't think you're no... gonna die. Well, I I'll, I'll aim to. Prove you wrong. Um, I hope you do. The uh, what was it? There was that was one of the interesting lessons I got, uh, not from my teacher, but when I was translating, where they he would say, "Oh yeah, this joseki they don't use it anymore," and right. it's an interesting problem of like how modern Go fits into like maybe how people learn. It is very hard, I think, without a teacher to know what what. Joseki now is like obsolete and for what reasons, right? And um, and for I, sure, I, for I, sure. I even asked of, my teacher or uh, at that, the same time, that like we're, we're back at that question of like how you know uh, we like to study the opening and that stuff more than we like to study our problems and our middle yes. game because honestly you know if you're playing a Joseki that's like two points worse for white. A pro is never yes. going to play it because it's two point worse for white. And are you kidding me? Like who's going to do that? <laughs> Yes, but for yeah. you and me, like we drop two points behind our couch cushions, like. Yeah, I mean, me, my my mistake here cost me the game, which is more than two points. Right, <laughs> you know, like you know, so. we make mistakes on a totally different class. You're right. And so uh, I think it's kind of. Anyway, I, I think that that like you know obsessing over the latest Joseki or why people don't do things one way or another. I think it's it's one thing if there's like a clear punishment, mm -hmm. like uh, what's his name? Oh man, experimented. I like Oh man, he's my favorite player because he experiments with his Fuseki and he has a very different attitude. Um, and he you know tried this response to the pincher. I'll show you after the game mm -hmm. um, that you know was crazy and new and nobody had ever played it before. Mm -hmm. And now, until eventually they found a move that basically refutes it and nobody does it. Like, like that's worth knowing. Like, developments right. like that are important. But otherwise, where you're like, and now this is slightly worse for white. You're like, well, who cares? And now for something. Who cares? Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what the best way to continue is here. I would say you... I'm expecting you to cut me off, and then I'm gonna like push against some stuff and try and find eyes. Yeah, but I don't need to do all that, right? Why, why fight so hard? 
you've got 10, 20, 25, 30, 30 on the right, mm. five on the top, another couple in the left. You got like 40 points. Right. Your bottom is about 40 points. 40, <laughs> 40 points. Yeah, so there's that. <laughs> so there's that, right? It might mean that this game, uh, we can end it pretty soon. Uh, you know. But I should do the fun thing, right? If you wanna, you want, you wanna find out if it can die or not. Let's do it. I, I think it. If I can, if I can make this live, I'll be happy. All right. So we're just. I, make, I'm playing the fun move here. I just want people. Yeah. To, like, maybe I should play like E14 or or B8 or something else big. And uh, you've drawn me into a fight, Kevin. How could you? It's not. Well, it's an advantageous fight for you, though. Let's be honest. Uh, what is that about, you know, chasing something that absolutely has to live? It's dangerous. Is that so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually never heard that lesson. Yeah, no, you know, when something has to live or um or they lose the oh. game, you know. It's it's what is it? Uh, a cornered rat fights the hardest, something like that. That's true. Not that I'm calling you a rat. Just Oh, no, no. Of course not. <laughs> Oh man! But if anyone sees this, I hope you guys go out and watch my uh, interview series. Right now, it is behind the ink bowl uh, demonstration. Is <laughs> Which, that what that is? It, it's the ink bowl like explanation has like seven hundred views. Oh. Mine is still hovering at five hundred as of today, and I'm just like, I think mine's more interesting than an ink bowl. But it I is for it, it is upwards of thirty to forty minutes. So I can understand maybe. Uh, did you get it cross posted to the AGA Facebook or whatever it was? I don't think so. Mm. It, was, it, it would be nice, but um, but I you know from the people that I've heard talk about it, I'm I'm actually really happy that uh, people have enjoyed it. I thought the interviews were great. I know Jill liked them too. She liked hearing the Mandarin. Joe. Jill. Jill. My wife. Oh, Jill. Your, wife. your lovely wife. Lovely Jill. Okay. Who I hope will be at the Congress next year. Oh, is she? So, Does she play Go? Uh, she has played Go on occasion. She uh, she went to the Santa Barbara Congress, actually. I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. And took a lovely picture of you two together. Go on. Did you take that? Uh, I took at least one. I don't know which one you, you were referring to. But oh. I have taken one. Good question. But yeah, I'm... Go Congress is great. Uh, I, who was it? I think Andy said it this year, Andy Oaken. Uh -huh. uh, if not him, then someone else. That this is one of and Go Congress is one of the few times you can go somewhere, and you don't have to explain what Go is. Right, exactly. And I never really could place a finger on it until he said that. That that's why it's so good. You just although all right, hang on, hang on. How long have you been playing Go? How long have you been playing Go? Uh, started in 2002, 2003. So we'll say upwards of 12 years. That's about when I started as well. And I think that there is a major difference between now and then. I think that um, when I started Go, I did have to generally explain what it was to most people. Um, really? And I think that I think that it's improved. Like I don't find myself explaining what Go is as often. I think people know now. Um, there, there have been a few times when someone will I think come up and say, I know this game. And I, that's right. That's and right. I, and you, you start thinking, no, no, you know Othello. That's right. Exactly. You're ready game. for them to tell you Othello. <laughs> but then like when they start saying, yeah, yeah, this and Joe, this, this and that, you're like, oh, wow, you do know this you game. You actually know what this is. You know this game. Um, well, you've made a believer out of me. I think you're winning on this. So I think uh, I'm just going to go ahead and resign this. And oh. we're, we'll look over. Uh, actually, I don't know what, what there is to look over. But um, is there actually anything you think yeah, is worth? Th well, mostly this was just a fun game, right? Like Right. Yeah. I mean, I wanted to I appreciate to win you're anything. not pushing really hard on me. You didn't sit down to ask me nice questions and kill me on the go board. I appreciate that. That was very polite. <laughs> Don't if you're watching this, Kevin. Kevin has kicked my ass. Um, he oh, was goodness. very polite tonight. So, uh, but yeah, we we could take a look. Let me see here. You want to review? Yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, I thought I thought nothing, nothing too big. Just I any big thing. 
Like, what were you expecting here? Well, because you can always come out and do this, right? Uh, but you can do a tiger's mouth. And then? Uh, descend? And then? Oh, you're right. Uh, and then it's Ko at most. Yeah, I saw this. I didn't know when that was going to... Mm, goodness. Like, best thing I can do is get a Ko, but even, you know, it's, a, it's like a two-stage Ko for me to connect. Mm -hmm. So I was very relieved to get this like connection out here, right? Yeah, I feel like that, but I feel I was a little bit worried about my group as well. Uh, and maybe I, I should, I should just that. capture here. Uh, yeah, I think now I probably have better shape. Yeah, I, but I, I was worried about a counterattack, and likewise, I think that this is uh, also kind of nice. Um. Mm -hmm. So you know something like this is is usual, um, right? But you also have the choice of like of of going this way. Yeah, and then this you have is a, me not knowing just something. <laughs> yeah, and then you have a cross underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was this was very uh, polite. Yeah. And so like, why not? Why not? Block? Why not Zoidberg? Uh, no, I, I don't have to, like live. No, it is Gote, isn't it? I was worried that it wouldn't it would be Sente for you. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Like you could find some way to live in Sente. I don't know. Like you did that and then you maybe did a tiger's mouth. Then... Yeah, I don't know. Good question. Yeah. Good question. Show me that uh silly pincer move that you're talking about. Silly pincher move. Which silly pincher? The O Man or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. This is rad. So he would play this one. <laughs> it feels so similar. I know someone else who does the larger knights move in the other direction and loves that. And I'm just like, does this one? Yes. That's a trick play, right? I don't know. I think it's this. I. That's but... gotta be a trick play. <laughs> he does it, and I just, I just shrug it off. There's, there's variations with ladders, but oh man, every time I see that, I'm just like, whatever guy. <laughs> whatever guy. That's right. That's right. You know. I feel like that's also kind of like the thing with the the conservative approach to Fuseki, right? Is it? Yeah. Um, it's like uh, what is what is the example? Um, cyclists. You you know any really serious bicyclists? Well, Jankowski, Eric Jankowski. Yeah, there you go. So somebody was like someone who is a racer. They race bicycles, and they, you know, we were having this conversation about how all serious bicyclists that race shave their legs. Right. Like, what are you talking about? They all shave their legs. It's like you, you all shave your legs. Like if you're at the starting line and you're next to some guy who doesn't shave their legs, you're like, Psh, whatever. I'm gonna dust you. <laughs> and you, I'm like, really? How does this? How does this happen? Like, what is it that makes shaving your legs like such a indicator of your competitive spirit? Right? Because right. it is. It's like if they don't shave their legs, they are just a chump. Like they're a scrub, <laughs> and you're gonna take them for a ride, right? <laughs> and you're gonna like extra hard try and like muscle them out on the corners and everything. So, but apparently it's true. Apparently it has to do with like when you like crash and you get road rash all over your lower legs, it's a lot easier, you know, if you don't have like apparently band-aids. I don't know. It didn't ever make sense to me at the time. I'm not a professional cyclist. I'm sure someone on YouTube will tell you why they do that. But, but more importantly, like their point was that it was, uh, this was what meant you were serious. And if you didn't do it, you weren't serious, man. <laughs> Like, and that's, that's sort of how we feel when we see people, like, do silly openings. And we really shouldn't. I think that, you know, when yeah. people are experimenting with stuff, they're not as bad as you think they are, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, that's there's an interesting psychology thing. I used to get really annoyed when I would feel that I was ahead and I'd lose. Right. And then the one thing I that helped me get over it was basically, well, it's my job to win. That's right. That's right. If I'm not able to do my job. I shouldn't get be angry at them. I should be angry at I should find ways that I can do my job better. That's right. Like you may think they should resign, but that's ultimately not your choice, right? That's their yeah. choice. Like right. your job to win the game and get it across the finish line, for sure. Yes. For sure, for sure. So yeah, this this shape is kind of not seen that much. Yes. Follow up if I go someplace else is interesting. Like like normally the follow up is here, and then that seems to make like an ideal shape. Right, and then now your upper part looks a little iffy. That's right, that's right. That's why I was okay with this, but maybe I was helping it become too strong. Maybe I should yeah, have I done that. But 
And then this, I thought maybe you would have pushed down and then grabbed some outer outer influence. But this is this one. Yeah, I didn't like I didn't like the shape for me after this. Maybe this is okay, but yeah, I mean, it it is true that this outside there's nothing really for you outside. So. Yeah, you don't really owe me another move here either. Yeah. So I think your counter pincer was very smart. You kind of owe me a move. I don't know. But then this fight, maybe I shouldn't have uh, let yeah. you. Push or something. Yeah, that's probably much better shape, shape wise. Mm -hmm. That is a yeah. That's a very fundamental thing that I'm still working on. I'm not going to be able to peep here. Like that's not a thing I can do. Yeah. So and and if you do something like this, it sets you up to peep back at me. Yeah. Like after you've jumped away. Yeah, I, I actually was so. I felt so, so comfortable after most of this. I mean, I was annoyed about this, but I felt like it might be slightly in your favor, but it was an interesting way it progressed. Yeah, I felt I don't safe, know. and it was just like, okay, now what am I going to try and do, or what it, can I do? Yeah, I really didn't want to attack it, because I there's no way I can make points, and I don't think I can kill it, so I don't want to actually attack. I'd much more rather, you know, get the moves on the left side. Like, I'd rather get C10 and C4 mm -hmm. than Sente, right? Like, where is it? There we go. I'd much rather grab grab these yes. Sente if I can. Um, but yeah, also, and I feel like this just gave me a, a lot of room to catch up. Yeah. Now your whole territory is capped at, like, 30-odd points. <laughs> 30 points. So, oh, well. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, if I do the whole M16 now, it seems a little bit too heavy. Well, yeah, maybe that. That's also something I was thinking about, but I don't know how it'll work. For me. I don't think I can resist really strong. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, even if I even if I do this, right? Like, I don't mean Gote. Yes. And I still have some Aju there, just to be silly. Yeah. Some wonderful co threats at the very least. There you go. There you go. Can't go wrong with that. Cool. Cool. Right well, well, let's uh, wrap this on up. Thanks, right. everybody, if you watched this far. Um, and I will, the plans, the future plans, uh, we're probably going to um, probably bring this to my teacher and uh, see what she says about it. And I'll probably make another video. To go Wait, along can I, with this. Uh, can I watch that? Uh, quiet. I won't say anything. I can record it and I'll okay. send you a copy. But I will also, when after I go up to the teacher, I'll make a separate video just to uh, cover some of the things that she talked about. All right. Sounds good. Um, so that'll be cool. Um, I'm going to try and get some other ones, uh, people in on this. Uh, I talked to Evan Cho. Bomb, bomb oh, nice. Him. Nice. And. Uh, good guy. I'm gonna see if I can talk to him. He's a really strong uh, amateur strong. Korean. Did I tell you what he said at the beginning of the Congress? No, let's hear it. All right, I asked him who would win because we had such a strong field. Yes. I asked him, I said, Evan, who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? You know, how, how good do you want to do? Actually, I said like, what are you looking forward to? And yeah. I think he took it to mean like, how, what does he think would happen in the masters? So I asked him a very different question. I said, what are you looking forward to this week? Yeah. What he heard was like, what result does he think he's going to get, right? He, he heard a very different question. And mm -hmm. he said, I'm trying to get third. And so I realized that he'd heard a different question. I said, what do you mean you're trying to get third? Then who's going to be number one and number two? Yeah. And he said, uh, he said, Tong Yulin and yes. uh, Wang Chen were going to be number one and number two. And he would have to beat Mark Lee. He probably couldn't beat Mark Lee so that his goal was third. Interesting. And I was like, wow, when Evan Cho is saying I'm shooting for a third place, we have a strong field, you know, like <laughs> crazy. So anyway, cool. If he's on your show, I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah, we're going to uh, hopefully he's agreed. Uh, we'll, we're going to try and do that. There will probably be no review after that from my teacher because he's that strong. Um, I talked to Andy Oaken, uh, president. Is he president of the AGA? He is indeed the president of the AGA. His turn. And goes on for a few years now. Yeah, he's graciously agreed. Um, we're going to probably just talk about just AGAs and some stuff. And eventually, I will have to ping Nick Siddiqui and see if he's up for a game. Oh, totally, totally, totally. 
We're probably going to play Rocket League right now. Oh, man. I, I might have to play you on that. That's Rocket League? Totally. Are you PS4 or are you PC? PS4. Which one are you? Oh, I'm P PS4 as well. I, I will, I was, I'm going to send you a message after this. All right, we're going to do um, it. Um, everybody else, uh, what's the usual YouTube thing? Like, comment, or subscribe. Play uh, some Go. Do your problems. Play some Go. Uh, I'm, I, I hope you guys like this. Uh, if you have any comments on how you want, what you think needs to be changed or uh, what you like or didn't like, uh, add them in the comments down there. And uh, I'll see you later. Uh, oh. Say bye to everybody, Andrew. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Take care. See you, Kevin.